Hey, how's it going? What you're looking at here is a through night TN32 flashlight. I don't want to waste too much time talking about this, but the video that you're, you're going to be watching is going to be a comparison of this versus other flashlight and a car headlight. And my goal is to have the camera set up so it looks like what it would actually, you would actually be looking like, you know, through your naked eye. And I'll have to do some adjust and achieve that, but once I got it set up, by the time you're done, you're going to get a very good indication as just how, you know, what to expect out of these lights. Now this one has that neutral emitter in it. It's more of a yellow emitter. Some say it doesn't throw as far like that, but the, the color depth in that is a lot better on the neutrals. I personally like them. So to start it off, we're going to run this light, which takes three 18650s in a series, driven at maybe, I don't know, 12 volts, 6 amps, and one emitter and that reflector is just unreal for how deep it is and the build quality on this is incredible but this light's going to set you back probably 170 80, 180 bucks and the next one is this little uh kinfire and i really like this light i bought it about a year ago you can pick it up for anywhere from 30 on up Average price is probably $50. That runs on four 18650s, but it's driven at, I think the emitters are driven at around 4 volts. And this thing's got one hell of a flood on it, and as you can see. But uh, we're going to use that as comparison. And then the big gun, 85 watt HID, that's running a metal halide. And you know, numerous companies make these, but... I'm curious as to which one will throw farther between that and the TN30. The last one is this Black & Decker. This is, you pick up at Walmart. I want to put this in there because I don't think people realize this simple, I guess you'd call it a spotlight, not a flashlight, but for $50, they, I find it very hard to beat the throw capabilities of this this light. and uh, We use it a lot in the woods. And stuff like that and it's held up very well so we got these four lights and then we're going to do some car lights as a comparison and by the time you're done you'll be able to determine if you want this if you're a flashaholic you'll get one of these anyways but let's go ahead and get out there and get started all right we're ready to roll as promised i have this camera set up the iris is in manual mode so we won't see no light changing and we're going to be Shining at a, a tree probably roughly about 140 yards out. And first up, I'm going to do the Black & Decker. Which, like I said, that thing really rockets out there. I got some fog going on. So that's going to diminish some stuff. Next up is the uh, Kinfire with the three T6 emitters. As you can see, the flood pattern on that is just phenomenal. I really like that light, and I like the Black & Decker. Now, what you've probably been waiting for, make sure it's uh, on high. This is the Through Night TN32. I'm going to run that versus the Black & Decker. And as you probably can see in the camera, it doesn't look like a lot of difference. But when we zoom in, I'm going to show you a big difference there. But what I'm curious as to if this TN32 is going to outperform the 85 watt HID. And I'm going to have to get that turned on and let it warm up. It takes up to 12 seconds. And we're running full power. I got it focused on that tree. Now here's the TN32. Kind of hard to tell any exact difference, but we're going to zoom in on that tree. And that's going to be the telltale sign on just which one's throwing more light onto that tree. All right, I'm zoomed in at 20 power, or I'm sorry, 10 power. I got the focus on there's that tree this is the black and decker 10 watt and now there's the t32 
T32 Black and Decker. T32 Black and Decker. You notice the more yellow white, the more, like I said, I chose the neutral white versus like the Black and Decker is a cool white, but you can see it brings the colors out a lot better with the, the neutral one. But as you can see there, up that close, there is a difference. Now next up, we'll do the Kinfire. Not a lot of comparison when you start zooming in. T32 Kinfire. TN32 Kinfire. Kinfire is more obviously designed for a hell of a floody. And now we're going to do the HID, which I got to let it warm back up. This is an 85 watt metal halide. And once it gets up to full power, we're going to see. There's the metal halide, 85 watt, and now the TN32. I would have to say this TN32 is out doing the 85 watt metal halide that's supposedly a rocket which it is actually now what's uh what do you say we zoom out farther get a little bit better comparison then i'm going to do some more beam shots and whatnot and then compare it to a car all right i got a tree out there about 250 yards away and this is exactly i would say of what I'm looking at is what you're looking at for brightness. This is a 10 watt Black & Decker and that there is a TN32. 10 watt Black & Decker, TN32. Black & Decker, TN32. Now we're going to ignite the 85 watt and start getting that rolling. There that is, full power at a tree at 250 yards, and now the TN32. Pretty close, but TN32 is uh, definitely outdoing it. Put them both together there, TN32. Metal, metal halide 85 watt. Now I'm zoomed in on a neighbor's barn in their house. There's a silo. This is over a thousand yards away. I don't want to do it too much, but they'll probably be calling me up and ask me what the hell I'm doing. But that thing lights that silo up, as you saw there. Now for the hell of it, we're going to do a closer, closer shot. This is that pop can flashlight I call thing just lights everything up versus the TN32 for close I'm talking a hell of a lot of flood on that if you were to be able to concentrate this beam on this 3 T6 emitter you'd have one hell of a light but look at that both lights are outstanding, but that TN32 is like a damn light so close, Closer focus on the 85 watt. Now the TN32. If you notice the spill on the 32 is even well, very well defined versus like the 85 watt HID. I mean the machining on that and the attention to detail is just phenomenal. And the Black & Decker, pretty good, solid spill. TN2. 
32 actually has a better spill for lighting than the Black & Decker, but I'm impressed with it. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the car quick. You got an idea as to the throw capabilities of the TM32. Let's compare it to a four headlight system on my car. While we're at it, I'll let you guess what four headlight system car sounds like this. I just had to do that. All right, I got my lights on high beam. First up will be the pop can flashlight. Focus it on that tree out there. Let's try the TM32. Pretty awesome. Now that's your high beam and low beam together on a on a car with very very bright headlights. I'm not skipping on the headlights on my vehicle at all. And no comparison. Okay, one other good thing about this light is you have different manual modes in the lowest settings like 0.6 lumens. You can actually see it a little bit out there, but that'll last for like, I don't know what it was, like 90 days. Next step up, this beam will be for days. By the way, you turn it on this dial here, not with a switch. Running all the amps through a dial. Next mode up is, I don't remember how many hours, but it runs forever. Then you got one more mode, like eight hours. I think that's like two hours, and of course high. And this light just blows my mind for how bright it is. You also have your strobe, which, and then a standby mode so you don't have to turn the clicky. But beam wise, very, very focused beam. And I guess if a guy or a woman wants to uh, invest $180, pretty, pretty much guaranteed you're going to get one hell of a good build quality light that it's very hard to beat the throw on. And just up to what kind of light you want and how much throw you want but $50 will go a long ways same with this pop can I use that more than anything but there's the deal there's what you could expect on that TN32 it's a pretty awesome light I'd have to say the least and, you know I can't express enough the build quality on this thing is just phenomenal